<laughs> y'all ready for y'all hear a lot of say yeah? yeah. Say oh yeah. oh yeah. Hey man, this is my friend brother, Kappa Alpha Psi member. He's been all over the country, man. Y'all start clapping right now. Start clapping right now. All the way from Houston, Texas. Y'all give it up for Billy Sorrells. Let's go, y'all. Goddamn song. Sing this goddamn Ursha Raymond. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. Right. Don't point, nigga. We know y'all been through some shit. White dude got no clue what song is about. Sing it. Hang up and you toxic as fuck. Sing it. Wait. Y'all, stop. This is my man Scott right here from the Geek Squad right here. Who got no clue drinking bottled water to the face. You ain't have no idea about that goddamn song. You like it? Bring your ass back. Bring your ass up here. Bring your ass up. Ma'am, come on up here. Nah, nah, you sung the whole motherfucking song. Listen, Jill from accounting. You bring your goddamn ass up here with this man. Clap for them right now. Start the motherfucking song, though. I want you to see how toxic this relationship is. This white nigga has no idea what this lady been through. Oh, stop. Wait, 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 stop. We gonna get this shit set up the right way. You take your almost black ass back over there, ma'am. Go over there. Come here, bro. Get off the stage. You the star of this motherfucker. Sit down. Hey, uh, what's your name, bro? Where you from? Jordan. Michigan. Why the fuck you said it like you was a defensive end? Oh, my name's Jordan from Michigan. I got a 12-inch picker. Where you from, bro? What part of Michigan? South Ann Arbor, small town. Yeah. It's the fact that if you know where Ann Arbor was on the map and what they known for, they get it popping out there. Who is that over there to you, bro? Not long enough. Not married long enough. Oh. Bitch, you got your work cut out for you today. It's some ladies in here that's like, I can rebuild his ass. Yes, I like that. Look, this is a toxic ass song with a toxic ass story. And the lady who ain't been around long enough knows it word for word. But let me tell you what you do. When you see toxic shit going on, you want to be cool, just put your hand over your wrist, stand up, stand up on it. 
Just put your hand over your wrist. And just, just shake your head like, all right. You gotta accept that. <laughs> What's your name? Where you from, ma'am? Jennifer from Illinois. What part of it? No, no, don't clap for that. <laughs> she trying to skip over where the fuck she from. <laughs> Chicago is in Illinois. <laughs> what part of Illinois are you from, ma'am? The cornfields of Illinois. <laughs> See how she skipped over this shit again? <laughs> says, I know some niggas. Hey, what part of Illinois? Say it. Chicago. This motherfucker from Southside. She know Kanye and Lupe, goddammit. And Chief Keef, all of Old Block. This bitch been on Old Block. Don't matter though, look, I want you to do this. Cause he, he fucking with you. He just trying to act like he not. Look at him. You can't be cool to keep left shoes on. But you be cool as cool, yeah, I know. It's a cookies or a cake cone, them motherfuckers. <laughs> them the ones Steve Harvey had on. <laughs> Sir, ain't say it. <laughs> All right, when this song come on, hey, man, hold your hands up. Just be cool. You don't know what to do? Cross your hands. Don't, don't, don't lock your fingers like that. Don't do that. <laughs> lock your fingers like that make you feel like you're nervous. Just accept that. Take the goddamn glasses off. <laughs> You a gangster for a few minutes. You don't need to see shit. You don't need no goddamn, uh, goddamn that much prescription to get in some pussy tonight. You just rock with it. Unbutton that second button. Loosen this shit up. Yeah, unbutton. Look, look, motherfucker. I said the second. You let that bird out the cage. All right, start that song over, ma'am. I need you to go on and sing that to him. Like you don't want him going nowhere, cause he got it bad. <laughs> Three, two, one, DJ hit it. Give him the lights too, give him the lights. Seduce him. Sing it to him, Jennifer. Sing it to him. You gotta lock him in. She with you now. Everybody, let's go. Baby, you got it, you got it bad. You got it bad. That's toxic. What? The Mexican dude singing. I got it bad, Vato. I got it bad. Is it? It's okay. It's okay. I got it bad too. Look at yourself, Vato. Come on, cut it off. Clap for them right now. DJ, you got my other favorite song up there. Say, listen, ma'am, I need you to let you know something. Well, uh, just hold on one second. <laughs> sit down, sit down, down. Single ladies, pay attention. What kind of job you got? <clears throat> A good one. My white nigga say he got a good job. Play the goddamn song, see what you about to lose. You better show him you ain't going nowhere. Give it up for Jennifer from accounting. Y'all nasty ass out of here. Freak ass came in here. Maybe we can get a couple tonight. I don't know. Freak ass. We gonna keep this shit going. Y'all bring y'all a nasty ass up here. Mr. and Mrs. Jose Garza. God damn it. What y'all? Bring y'all ass up here. Clap for them. God damn it. Clap. Bring it. Bring y'all ass up. 
Come here. Stop looking at this one. Hold on, hold on, DJ. Hold on, pause. Wait, wait, wait. Come on up here. Motherfuckers don't speak English. Yeah, it's good. It's okay. They don't think it is. I'm from Chillicothe, Texas. ¿Qué es tu nombre? Bronte. ¿Cuántos años y luego viene esposa? Es mi amiga. Fuck that. Hold on. I got chain legs. This motherfucker ain't shit either. He said, that's his amiga, that's his friend. No, the fuck is not. Y'all got the same boots and blue on. She ain't got no keys to get a dress on or nothing. Got no soccer cleats on in this bitch. Y'all matching. So wait, hold on. Sit down. How you doing, ma'am? How you know this gentleman right here? He's my friend. Neither one of y'all ain't shit. But fuck it, I know y'all know how to party. Can y'all party with us tonight? Hey, listen, when this song come on, make him see why you shouldn't just be his goddamn friend. Hit it, DJ! I don't give a fuck if you got your construction worker boots on. I know you just got through working on 35. You the reason why we got traffic on I-20. Let's go! Hey, they got cocaine in they pocket. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. We got the cartel in this motherfucker tonight. Clap, 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 cut it off. Well, I have to run a brick back to Houston. Hey, on the lap, it's okay, take the brick back with you, papa. Clap for them right now, bro, clap, goddamn. That girl like you. I don't know why you playing like she don't like you. Y'all like each other. Take, your, take that one back over there and repopulate, goddamn it. She already pregnant from that dance. All right, we already in this motherfucker tonight. We are up in here. Give it up for all the comedians you've seen tonight thus far. Reed Marshall Becker. Cutie comedian. Root Worldwide. D. Ellis, our host. Listen, man, um, first of all, I want to say this to you. Where the married people at in here? Make some noise. <laughs> married longer than 15 years, clap. <laughs> 17 years, clap. <laughs> Them niggas claps getting light. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't not even going on with your show now. And a pop quiz, what the fuck I'm doing with my old lady over here? You said married, you ain't say together, nigga. We been together 35, we only been married 17. First 20 was a duo. Watch this, watch this. How long y'all been together over there, bro? You were just clapping, nigga. Yeah, you laughing and clapping. Yeah, 25 years. Yo, it's me. Wait, 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 wait. Look at this nigga. What did you just say, sir? How long y'all been together? 29 years. Yeah, you wasn't giggling <laughs> when you said it. Now, how long y'all been married? 24 years. Clap for that over here. Anybody else got 30 years on them? You messing people over here like, no, we ain't got 30. Is it? Wait, how long? Wait, somebody else got 30 in it? Motherfuckers over here lying. <laughs> Ain't no gift from this bitch. I gotta pay for y'all food. Y'all been together how long? Get the fuck out of here. 35 years married. Yeah. Same marriage. Yeah. Count what the fuck you was doing with other people before you fuck with them. <laughs> so 35 over here. Clap for that. God damn it. Clap. Clap. They still sitting by each other. Granddaddy and my grandma's been together for 40 years. They only sit by each other when they go out. 
my grandma to be up here at the front, my granddaddy to be outside by the bar. <laughs> so like, granddaddy, why ain't you grandma? Hey man, get the fuck out of my business, huh? Right? <laughs> I did what the fuck I needed. You see them lights on, ain't it? <laughs> I grew up toxic. The word toxic was first defined in 2012 to define parenting, specifically in the black community. They coined the word toxic. But toxic just means you say what the fuck you feel when you probably ain't supposed to say it. I've been dealing with toxic shit all my life. First off, I got hair like this. <laughs> Second off, I'm probably one of the only brothers that know his daddy, granddaddy, great granddaddy, and they all helped raise me. So the crazy part is I've been seeing toxic shit my whole life. <laughs> Simple shit for most people was traumatic as fuck for me growing up. Six years old, I'm in church, I'm trying to pee. It's Easter Sunday. I pull my little pants down because I don't want to get pee pee on my slacks. I'm peeing at the little urinal at church. It's a safe space. I'm peeing. Nothing crazy. My granddaddy walk in. He see me peeing. Hey, 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 your back door open. Somebody gonna put their thumb in your ass with <laughs> Hey, man, pull your back door up. Somebody gonna run up in and flip your gay switch on. Hey, man. Hey man, somebody gonna flip your hey, they gonna open your asshole up, put your put flip change your wall. Hey man, close your back door open. The screen door open, you're a pedophile dream in here. He ain't just tell me that shit. I'm six. I'm trying, I'm just trying to pee Hey man, you a sissy? I'm like, no, nigga, I'm six. After church, he talking about daddy, your son in here advertising his booty hole during the 10 o'clock service. Now what the fuck we gonna do? Somebody flip his gay switch on. He grow that curly hair out. We know that he been a bitch. <laughs> so they had me in shit like boxing, karate, early, mixed martial arts. This is in the 80s and 90s, cause I got hair like this. Cause niggas see this hair and think, I can beat your ass. What, who just said, you weak? Nigga, please. Yeah, I'm whooping most niggas off the muscle. Why? Because I'm a cry fighter. <laughs> yeah. Now Billy get them tears in his eyes, somebody get the ass for it. I start crying. Yeah! I made a nigga tripping, man. Somebody get the ass whooped. Boxing class fighting since I'm six. So I'm hyper aggressive, ready to do this shit. That shit worked for me elementary, junior high, high school. Why? Because when you find the school, somebody always there to break the shit up. <laughs> fight it alone, niggas start talking shit to me. I, bah, bitch, what's up, nigga? Yeah, it's all weird. Nigga, you, you ain't ready for that. You think you finna push me? We ain't doing all the dialogue, nigga. I'm hitting you first. <laughs> the fuck? That shit worked for me until I got to college. <laughs> and dealt with a nigga who really like to fight. <laughs> In an unlucky, unsuspecting place, I'm fighting my roommate. <laughs> yeah, he called me a bitch. Because I told him to turn his radio down because I'm trying to study. <laughs> my little girlfriend just left. She was like, he called you a bitch. I said, don't you worry about that. I'm handle that shit. <laughs> Soon as she leave, my roommate, he from Birmingham, his name Bama. <laughs> I said, man, I gotta holler at you, bro. Put your shoes on, my nigga. <laughs> yeah, I might got on slacks and some loafers, nigga, but I'm ready to go. I said, what's all that bitch? You, you bitch ass nigga. So he said that, I bah, nigga. What's up, nigga? What's up? He said, ah. oh, boy. Well, I've been ready to beat your ass. <laughs> And for the next 10 minutes, he made me touch everything in our dorm room. He whooped my ass down the hallway, through the kitchen, through the living room, took my car keys and my cell phone. I ran and locked myself in the bathroom. I'm crying like a bitch. I said, ah, this nigga on my ass. I'm crying between the toilet and the shower. And I got my ass whooped. I done laid down, took me a nap two hours later. My head hurt, I woke up. Looked out in the hallway. I'm gonna go fix me some noodles. I don't know what's in there. wrong with this nigga. 
I'm in there fixing some noodles. Here my roommate Bama come out of his room. Ding, ding, round two, nigga. <laughs> One again. I said, nigga, you won. Why are you still kidding me? What I didn't realize, I could fight good, but nigga, it was nobody there to break it up. <laughs> nigga, it's just us. You know you getting your ass whooped when you yell out words like, that's enough. <laughs> Sir, calm down. Damien, stop. And called him by his government name. You know you getting your ass whooped when you see shit in the refrigerator like mayonnaise, mustard, pickle jars. I scream from him, help, this nigga's crazy. <laughs> the RA from the college then came down. Hey man, what's going on in here? He opened the door, put his arm around me. Ah uh, man, we just in this whole wrestling. <laughs> I'm looking like a battered bitch in there. <laughs> nigga, hair all over my goddamn head, I'm frazzled. He don't whoop my ass while I'm making the noodles trying to put the seasoning pack in. I got shrimp seasoning all in my goddamn head. He said, everything okay? I'm, I'm cool. Yeah. It's, 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 it's. Yeah, we cool. We just wrestling. He closed the door like, yeah, nigga, round three. I said, what is wrong with you? Anybody here to watch this score? And it's something about a hood nigga when he get emotional. It's funny, but serious at the same time. He was like, yeah, my nigga, they got me in this old doing shit I wasn't ready to do, my nigga. Oh, be my brother, nigga. Yeah, nigga, they got me in this old doing shit. I'm like, well, what's wrong? Bama, what they got you doing? They got me in this old reading and writing. And <laughs> reading out loud, my nigga. All this motherfucking shit ain't no work. She's in this old nigga. Uh, nigga, this is college. You should be able to read out loud. Only reading out loud, all that pussy ass shit. How is reading aloud pussy ass shit? Got me fucked up. No, you're fucking up on your vowels and nouns. So I was like, man, you're my brother. You're like, you're my brother. Then look out for me then. I work with Bam on his reading. I ain't had no problem with niggas fucking with me. I have permanent bodyguard security. This from freshman year to my senior year. I played as a fraternity. I became a cap. Shout out to the noobs. Shout out to my bro D. Ellis. Everything good. Till one of my brothers from Prayer View come down. We arguing about frat politics. Not a real argument, but it's very amped and full of energy. We in my dorm room. Bama here to argue me. He come up, what's all this whole ass shit going on? <laughs> My friend brother told my nigga, who was he? Tell you better tell him shut the fuck up. I was like, no, nah, he the champ around here. <laughs> if you don't do something, I will. I was like, nigga, go ahead. <laughs> Bama looked at me, I said, ding, ding, nigga, round one. <laughs> he had that nigga locked in the bathroom. He done took his cap of cane and his jacket. <laughs> I ain't do nothing to stop the shit, neither. My whole ass, I was like, it's your shit now, nigga. Bama, this jacket is two sizes too small. He walk around the house. He my jacket, nigga. Yo. He done wore the shit to a party. Everybody talking about when Bama pledge. I said, today. <laughs> what was this? Nigga, about 2.30. Who else is on this line? I said, that nigga crossed by himself. <laughs> I mean, you know when you look at it? <laughs> real nigga shit. <laughs> Everybody know that person and they crew is like, yeah, that's that's the one. Ladies, y'all got that one girl and y'all click that y'all like, yeah, that bitch crazy. <laughs> you know, shout out to the big show, the big back ladies. <laughs> you know the ones that's overly aggressive. When y'all go out, they put all y'all shit in her purse. <laughs> no, we good, let's go, bitch. We outside. <laughs> we outside. Fellas, you ever been talking to a girl, you think this is the one you finna take home, you try to talk to it, and a friend break, break the shit up. Now, we good, we good, this lady's not. Uh, listen, Kimbo Slice. You just move your ass the fuck out the way. You know, that's how I be, you know? I, uh, I done made my fair share of bad decisions, you know? I think about my life in a toxic space. 
I look at the work that I got to do on myself. I'm self-accountable. I'm self-aware. I've been to therapy. Yeah, I'm a first-generation black man who's been to therapy. That ain't mean I'm the first dude in my family who need to go to therapy. But I went to therapy. Now, when I say this part, some people get offended. My therapist is white. Not because I don't think black therapists and doctors are less than. I just don't want niggas in my business. <laughs> when I go in this therapy session, bitch, I'm about to say some shit that you don't want to tell somebody the shit I'm about to say. You're like, what? What the nigga really used to do? Damn, nigga. Yeah, I'm telling somebody. You're going to be hooked on my life like snowfall, nigga. I'm telling you everything. I got keep it here. And, and, and by keep it here, I mean keep the baby. That's why I got six kids. You know what I'm saying? Ooh. Fuck you too, nigga. Yeah. I don't give a fuck. Keep your little two kids. One of them niggas is a loser. Keep your lame ass two kids, nigga. You might need to go for some more. That nigga struggles to read out loud. My kids read great. I don't feel bad. I, I love the fact of being a black dad. I got four daughters, two sons. Here's the beautiful part about being a black dad to, to girls. When most women hear the fact that I got, I'm a girl dad, they be like, ooh, what you did. <laughs> Payback's a mother. First of all, my oldest daughter like bitches, so. Joke's on you. <laughs> I'm not saying. I love my daughter for who the fuck she is. Stellar fucking student. My first, my first boy. Supreme on the basketball court, 22 points. Doing shit because when I started with her, teaching her sports, I didn't teach her as though she was a girl. I taught her as though she was my child. So I put everything I could into her as far as teaching and loving her. And so now, it's dope to see the outcome. You know, her mom will sometimes be like, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. I'm like, hey, she is who the fuck she is. Right. And my daughter's like, well, daddy, you care that I, don't, I like girls? I'm like, no, I don't care that you like girls. But now that you do, trash go out on Thursday, nigga. Get <laughs> <laughs> that shit out of the house, nigga. Let's go. <laughs> if you like bitches, if you like bitches, you got to take this trash out. Yeah, I don't hear all that gentleman shit. You the gentleman now. Let's go. I need to teach you how to train some time. Say, like, well, I gotta learn all this. I say, what bitch want another bitch that don't know how to help her do shit? I'm trying to help you win with these hoes. Let's get this tire changed, honey. My mama talking about I didn't see it coming. The bitch made 25 points in a goddamn seventh grade basketball game. They've been buying her Jordan since she was six. Well, you, you didn't see it? What have you been watching? <laughs> and I think so, so much sometimes we put so much energy into um, what we have as expectations to what we want our kids to fit into. We don't give them the space or the love or the grace to be who they are. I think, and I say this shit all the time, black people, we are traumatically our gifts come from the trauma that we experience. The trauma propels our success. I can show you anybody, whether they sell dope or they on the boardroom in a fucking corporate company, they went through some shit so fucked up that they don't ever want to go back there. So they work they ass off. Like it's people that work they ass off. Some of you niggas that sell dope need to quit. <laughs> Cause you trash as fuck. <laughs> you garbage ass, drug dealing ass niggas. This weed is garbage. <laughs> My seventh grade daughter got better weed than you. <laughs> you niggas can get, you know, you know, niggas start selling weed. Yeah, nigga, yeah, 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 nigga, yeah. Good old time, nine o'clock. Take that bullshit ass weed on somewhere. Y'all keep smoking shit like they ain't adding shit. They adding shit to everything. It's no reason I should smoke a blunt and my dick get hard. <laughs> These niggas is putting rhino peels on the way. 
Yeah. The heart beating fast, dick hard. Yo, what's going on? My dick hard as a motherfucker. Yeah, nigga. It's that Rhino 9000 on top of that sativa. You, you smoke some weed and your dick go hard? Yo, weed man ain't shit. Leave that lady alone tonight, man. You, done, you look like you done almost overdosed on a honey pack. His blood circulation so low right now. He been trying to tap this lady on the, on the, on the leg. Look at, look at the dick, look at the dick. That dick ready right now, that dick ready right now. That lady like, oh, stop. <laughs> Shout out to the dudes that's out here that's engaged. That lady, some gummy bear dick, where you at? <laughs> Bro with the beard right here, he laughed that hard all day. You niggas done gave some gummy bear dick out at this table. He done never gave some gummy bear dick to you. It's the gummy bear dick. Gummy bear dick. It's the gummy bear dick. Yeah, it's soft. It's squishy. You're a grown man up here pressing. You trying to press all your blood out the back of your dick to the front of your shit to blow your dick up. Your dick soft as hell. You ain't got no circulation. It's the gummy bear dick. Gummy bear dick. It's the gummy bear dick. Yeah, it's soft and squishy. Now you pressing your whole body weight on this lady. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's about it. Hey, give me a second, give me a second. Stop doing what you're doing. Ladies, y'all be sitting there doing the same shit. It's okay, take your time. Take your time, nigga. Yeah. Yeah. Put your leg up, put your leg up. Don't worry about seeing this on the internet. You ain't putting your leg up. Maybe you sitting there in a position you ain't been in since college. Your ass face down, ass up. In the pillow, this grown man sitting here talking. What you doing, Charles? What you doing? What you doing? Don't move, bitch. Don't move. What you doing, Charles? What you doing? Oh, you know you're supposed to knock when you come in somebody's house. Breaks in the front. Breaks in the truck. Breaks to make you a superstar. Break it up. Break it up. Break it up. And these are the breaks, your old ass. I talked about my daughter being a lesbian. Uh, but I love lesbians. In fact, if I could quote Denzel Washington, if you want to love a lesbian, you got to sleep with a lesbian. Yeah, I ain't afraid of it. I did it. That shit don't scare me. Did it. Got drunk. My daddy died going through depression you know first of all let me tell you why because ladies let me help you understand the man that you got the man that you with right now is a creature that is not supported that is not uplifted that is not understood that is constantly misunderstood that is talked down to that is mistreated that just goes through fucking life dealing with shit. Look at your friend group, ladies. When you go through shit, let me show you the difference. No matter what the fuck you go through, you could have got laid off from an online virtual job. <laughs> Women gonna come to your house. Bitch, we gonna get you a vision board. Let's pick this shit out, bitch. <laughs> bitch, don't worry about them hoes at that virtual ass job. Fuck them bitches, bitch. <laughs> I bought some of this 19 crumbs. I got some Moscato. I got some motherfucking Cabernet Sauvignon. We said it wrong. Fuck it, bitch. You know what the fuck I mean. 
They helping you. They done light candles. They done did dishes, help you wash clothes, <laughs> folding shit up, put the kids to sleep. All of that, because y'all friends. You know what happened when men deal with shit? You know what we get? No matter what the fuck, my daddy died. You know what my friends came to my house to see? Oh man, fuck that shit, nigga. Let's go get on these hoes, nigga. <laughs> Let's go drink and get on these bitches, my nigga. <laughs> nigga, my daddy did. <laughs> How does that help me? But it taught me something about grief. Grief is a small word, but it packs a mighty punch. Grief is real. Cancer, they got a whole institute for that shit. They can tell you how to treat it, how to deal with it. But when a motherfucker get grief, you just gotta figure that shit out. So I was drinking my ass off. I'm in a club, I ain't got no business in talking to a woman I ain't got no business talking to. I'm talking to a full-blown stud at the bar. <laughs> my little cute ass up here talking to the toughest bitch in the And she told it to me. I'm like, yeah, so what you want? I don't give a fuck that you six four bitch on my side. I don't know who this little nigga is in my face though. I'm gonna beat his ass, he keep tripping. But I started giving her shots. If you don't know, tequila will break a, a woman Damn. down. <laughs> Two shots turned to four shots, six shots turned to eight shots. We fucked up. We eight shots of tequila in. Her whole demeanor done changed. She was looking at me crazy. I, she was like, bro, like, what you like? I said, my bad, Queen Latifah. <laughs> Just take this last shot. I gave her that last shot. Her whole energy was different. Everything different. I said, you having a good time? She was like, damn, I'm so fucked up. I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I looked up at her. I was like, bitch, me too. <laughs> We just started tongue kissing in the club. Yeah, yeah, you know, I don't know how y'all ladies do that shit. She kissing me, got my back arch. I'm on my tiptoes. Ain't a gangster about that. I'm drunk. Now we walking out the club looking like a cute lesbian couple. But the bad part is she walking me out the club behind me like I'm her bitch. I'm turned around still kissing and shit. The bouncer pulled me out. Oh, that nigga tripping. That nigga tripping. I say, Bobby Valentino, that's a stud. I said, fuck y'all, nigga, this is my bitch. <laughs> we left the crib, went back to the house. I took my Jordans off, she took her Jordans off. <laughs> took my skinny jeans down, she took her skinny jeans down. But I had been drinking all day that tequila. I ain't had no gummy bear dick. <laughs> Soon as I pulled that pen down, I said, yeah. She was like, hey, bro, chill. <laughs> I was like, hey. Hey. it's the sound that all men make. No matter how old you are, men make their own sound effects when they're giving out dick. <laughs> men be like, hey. <laughs> old men make different sound effects. As soon as you come out the bathroom naked, they be like, woo! <laughs> <laughs> you get naked tonight, then they can be like, woo! That old nigga gonna hear it at his house a whole 20 miles away. My old man see your ass nigga, and as soon as you walk out of the bedroom, that is all right. That is all right with me, god damn. Look at all that right there, that is all right. That is all right with me. They rubbing their fingers together like it's a transmission fluid. That's a great old cliff right there. I don't give a fuck with your stomach hanging over your goddamn belly. School right there don't give a fuck. The fuck what your body look like. See, he, he taking pictures as soon as you come out the bathroom. You come out naked, easy. Stay right there, stay right there. These are always bad motherfuckers when they get these developed. I don't like my stomach, I don't like my stomach. Oh, anybody worry about no goddamn stomach? I work for General Motors and AutoZone. Let me get that car jack. Jack that goddamn stomach up. Look at all that good pussy under there. Look at all that good pussy. It's a pussy cake under there. I feel like it's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday, Mr. James. Don't matter. It's when it stood out. I'm in there. I'm. So when I seen it on the ground. 
and was glowing. The strap on. <laughs> I picked it up, I hid it behind my back. She said, hey, bro, what's that shut up, bitch? <laughs> I would hit it with that real dick. Fake dick. Real dick. Fake dick. Real dick, fake dick. Real dick, fake dick. Real dick, fake dick. Overhand, OJ style, kill the pussy. You're like, oh, bro, shut the fuck up, bitch. <laughs> Threw the deal on my shoulder, walked out of that motherfucker like it was a sword. I put her hooping shorts on. I put her Houston Comics jersey on. I said, come on, I said, call me. Two months later, she gonna hit my phone. I answer, I was like, what's up? She's like, hey, bro, I'm gonna kill you, whole ass new. <laughs> bitch, you done fucked my life up. I said, what happened? I done missed my period, I'm pregnant. I said, well, congratulations, you about to be a single father, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, my name is Billy Surreals, y'all. Thank y'all for tonight. <laughs> Look, hold on. Big shouts out to our sponsor for this show, Sugar Coochies is in the building. Where you at, Sugar Coochies? All right, they are giving a lucky lady. They offer uh, waxing with special natural products as well as an array of other things in the gift bag. Uh, who, who we have as our, our, our winner tonight for your giveaway, ma'am? I think, I think, who we think we should be? Where, where, where was they at? Where was they at? The first couple. Yeah, oh, no, no, no. They came up here and pop their ass. Get it, stand up, ma'am. Stand up, ma'am. Get that lady a goddamn, whatever you finna do with that lady's vagina. He don't give a fuck, I don't care what's on it. Hell, I'ma love it anyway. Put sunflower seeds on it, I'ma love it. Uh, one more time for your host, D. Ellis, tonight. Call him to the stage, D. Ellis. Worldwide Rude, come on up here, man. Reed Marshall Becker and Q the Comedian, man. Clap for them brothers tonight. Clap for them all the way up here, man. Clap. Clap for them. It's y'all people right here from the city of Dallas. Yeah, Doug, man. I tried to mix it up. Where Reed ass at? Fuck y'all, y'all better stop. Y'all ain't shit. Where my boy Reed? Clap for Reed anyway. Get fuck. That's my brother. Fuck yeah. I'm gonna say this real quick, man. Um, you know, as we travel and we do what we do, man, we travel across the country and across the world. We try to uplift and heal people, man. We try to give our very best. These brothers up here, man, they've been doing it before I got in the game, man. This brother D. Ellis, man, is a veteran, bro. I watched this brother, my frat brother, my friend, yeah. and my comrade. I seen you doing it for a long time, man. Give it up for this brother D. Ellis right here. Now, when I started, I wasn't a vexed. And they used to fuck with me. <laughs> they ain't gonna say it was just this nigga. The nigga told me, man, man, why you doing this shit, man? Go ahead, be a model or something. <laughs> You fly, nigga, man. It's gonna sell some clothes or something, man. Get your clothes out. Man, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Nigga's the ghost of Burlington Coat Factory over here. <laughs> well, your granny gonna whoop your ass when she find that you got a jury on. I just wanna give a shout out to my beautiful wife. She in the back. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna get a mic back to him, but y'all know this nigga look like Sweet Daddy from Good Times when he came up here. <laughs> My name is Linda. <laughs> I had to get you, nigga. They came up in this bitch like Sammy Yay, Sammy Yay, bitch. That nigga got dressed in a uh, rundown bowling alley. <laughs> well, if you don't get your used furniture car salesman head in, honey. Well, your shoes come with an F-150. If you don't get your ass out of here. Yeah, but now, man, this is my brother, man, my boy. You know, he got the Archbishop cross on. <laughs> that ain't Jesus, that's Gucci man. 
Gucci Mane, I'm on the cross, nigga, think I'm crazy. Mary had a little boy, Mary had a baby, a baby, baby. Mary had a baby, Mary ain't have sex, but she about to have a baby. Hey, that ass, boy. You don't get your 50 years of hip-hop chain wearing ass out here. I said a hip hop, a hippie shirt wearing ass. What the fuck are you talking about? They got a nigga body with a Mexican head, nigga. Nigga, I love it, nigga. Nigga, all nigga chains got prescriptions on them, nigga. This nigga come right. Hey man, tell your mama to come outside. I done told this bitch I'ma hurt my hand on that hoe. Well, your outfit came with a cutlass. Well, your whole outfit came on one hanger. You went to the gas station, they was like, is this the one you want right here? <laughs> you gonna get your goddamn ass? Hey, wait a minute, let me tell you what you did with them shoes. Strike! <laughs> Forget what you gonna do when you leave here. Strike! <laughs> tell your mama Tony said bye. <laughs> You'll get your cat in the hat dress of that. <laughs> hey, nigga, hey. <laughs> nigga, I love you. This is the only nigga I know, goddamn. Score three points and brush his hair at these shooting nigga. I'd be like, I'm gonna kill these bitches. <laughs> I'm done, nigga, I'm done. That turtleneck is done. That nigga look like he only investigate crimes that got cocaine in. Now, where did they say the dope was at? He don't only track down cars that got a repo on it from 88. Yeah, nigga, I do this shit. But your jeans got swim trunk net in them. Your boy got the nerd that had his goddamn power. They got an anime bracelet on. Get your freaky ass out here. This is my brother, bro. I love you, though. I love you. I love you. Cue the comedian, man. Hey, man, bro. This brother been doing comedy, man. Putting brothers on. He's He's got his cute got jokes. Who's up next, man? He's been doing his shit. And, man, y'all give it up for this brother right here, man. Power in the project. Say, I'm on everything, man. We got next comedy series, the longest running comedy series in the South, man. California, Houston area. I've done 17 cruises. I'm blessed, man. I can't even trip, man. Uh, Q got jokes on everything, man. Y'all can find me when y'all find me, man. I'm there. Clap for that, brother. Now, look, man, this is y'all challenge right here. Root Worldwide, man. It's your up and coming brother right here. Ingratiate him, bring him into the fold. This young brother doing his thing. Brother doing his shit in promotion. Tell him about what your background is, bro. Um, I've been doing everything. I just really started doing my comedy this year. So uh, it's a blessing to be here. Like, it's my second time. So I appreciate you for letting me come out and bless the stage. So I'm just amazingly blessed, man. I just appreciate it. So I thank y'all so much. Hey, on the real, he did really good this second show. He, really, he did it really deep. But I said, once the nigga came here, I said, nigga, P.M. Don is doing comedy now, nigga. <laughs> it's my turn. <laughs> you ain't shit, man. How you give a whole comedy, man? Say, y'all give it up for D. Ellis with Busta Ryan chain around his hat. This nigga chain thicker than molasses. <laughs> This nigga, about, he look like he about to coach in Colorado next year, nigga. <laughs> I need everybody to get in the portal. I need you to get in the portal. Uh, when you come down here, I ain't hard to find. I'm not hard to find. Get in the portal. Hey, D. Ellis, hey, D. Ellis that turtleneck needs to get in the portal. Hey, look, man, we love y'all. We thank y'all. Have a great night tonight. Where my brother Reed at? He out there, man. We're gonna show him that it's my boy, dog. We got a dope podcast. Show love to Reed. Y'all give everybody a round of applause up here. We love you. Thank you. Good night. Um, if you want to give the gift of laughter away, uh, we got a show on Sunday. That's oh, that, nigga, that nigga trying to figure out where to get your goddamn jacket from. Hey, man, where the fuck did you get that bad motherfucker from right there? That is solid, suckers. Good job, turkey ass niggas.
don't know how to appreciate a real motherfucking pion. Oh, hey, look. One thing, let me tell them the number. Hold on. Hold on, nigga. We can do this shit all night. I love it. <laughs> if you'd like to give the gift of laughter away, we got a show on Sunday. We got a few tickets left. We'd love for you to be able to share a good time with them. Take this number down. The number is 323 385 Nine seven three four. The number again is three two three. <laughs> it's just ten digits, baby. How the fuck is a long number? It's the same as every number you got. It's ten numbers. You know, she was back there. We used to dial one and call somebody. And hell, connect me to Cheryl so I can talk to her. She not home. We'll, we'll put Brandy on the phone. Yeah, man, we're gonna be outside, man. We love y'all. Thank y'all. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> One more time, the number 323385. It's the same 10 digits. You get your drunk ass out of here. 323385 Text the word tickets to that number. We'll get you on for Saturday, um, Sunday show. Thank y'all. Have a good night.